Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is said to have many different connections, not just to the original trilogy, but also the prequels by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one aspect of Episode 9 that a lot of people are really looking forward to seeing in this movie is, of course, exactly how J.J. is going to utilize the character of Rey as well as her interactions with other characters in this movie that are connected to past films. Now, we do know that Episode 9 is getting closer with each and every month that passes by to its release date, and we also know that Disney and Lucasfilm are really using this movie as a course correction within the Star Wars franchise after what happened with the solo Star Wars story box office result. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the set leaks, this is where things begin to get very exciting for the characters of Anakin Skywalker and Rey. Now, specifically, it's described that Daisy Ridley shot a sequence during the month of December over at Cardington, where it's described that Rey was on set that was dubbed the Lake of Dreams. It's said to be a lake hidden within the lost city that Rey travels to and eventually hears the Force Ghost voice of Anakin Skywalker. Additionally, it's said that it's described to be a moment in which Rey is going through conflict and sees the apparition of Anakin Skywalker in a black cloak. An unnamed actor on set was in a black cloak portraying the hybrid ghost of Anakin Skywalker where it's said that he was wearing half of a Vader mask under the hood. It's said that the Lake of Dreams is similar to the Mirror Cave in The Last Jedi, however it will be a place for Rey where she will get specific answers about her lineage. Additionally, it's described that the unnamed actor portraying Anakin Skywalker was speaking to Daisy as he was sinking into the lake where the Anakin Skywalker apparition is described to submerge itself into the water where Rey eventually goes into and floats. So I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this. Now, we do know that the Lost City is going to play a significant role in the second act of the film, where Daisy Ridley goes to this unknown place that holds a lot of Jedi and Sith secrets underneath the surface of a world that could either be the other side of Jakku or a brand new planet for all we know. Now, we do know that this whole entire piece of Star Wars Episode Nine is going to be used in order to evolve the character of Rey by communicating with some of the Force Ghosts, one of which being, of course, Anakin Skywalker. Now, in this specific scenario, it's described that Rey is in conflict, hence why she is seeing the hybrid Force Ghost of Anakin. Now, a lot of people have expressed their concern about the use of a hybrid ghost of Anakin Skywalker, in case you guys did not know. It's basically either A, a mixture of a Force Ghost between the dark and the light, or full-on dark side. And there is pretty much a lot of reasons as to why now. Most likely, the reason as to why the Force Ghost of Anakin Skywalker portrays itself as a dark side version is it's through the perception of a force user whether or not they're going through conflict from what it seems so in the lake of dreams in case you guys did not know this was an original idea for the last jedi that jj abrams is now picking up and introducing into star wars episode 9 it's said to be a large lake underneath the surface of a specific world and within the lost city just a little bit you know from the from the Jedi ruins as well as the Sith ruins in the Lost City itself. And the Lake of Dreams is said to be a place in which it offers all these different truths as well as these different revelations to Rey's lineage and pretty much gives her a specific path to go on in Episode 9. Now, this specific sequence involves the hybrid force ghost of Anakin Skywalker standing in the shallow waters of this lake. Now, what's really intriguing to me though is that this was also expressed somewhat in the Last Jedi art book. You guys may recall that there was a lake underneath the surface of either, you know, the first Jedi Temple or something around those lines where we saw Kylo Ren and I believe it was Luke Skywalker with both of the lightsabers ignited facing Rey. That was an original aspect of The Last Jedi that did not make it to the final cut of the movie. Now, J.J. Abrams is using that, it seems, as a form of inspiration in order to incorporate that into Episode 9 by using the Anakin Skywalker hybrid Force Ghost appearing in front of Rey herself. So what's really intriguing to me the most about all of this is that we do know that this movie is going to be very heavy, very heavy on Jedi and Force lore and Sith lore and stuff like that and it will connect to the new Star Wars trilogy that's being created by, of course, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, which is great, right? We do know that if we look at the new trilogy coming up that it is going to have a loose connection to the Skywalker saga. 
But I digress. When we look at the character of Ray here, we do know that J.J. Abrams is doing a lot of things with this movie in order to evolve her, in order to express the character in a different way than we have ever seen her before as in The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, where in Episode 9, she is going to seem like a totally different character as if she has evolved and really has progressed as a Jedi or a Jedi Knight, if you will, one year after the events of The Last Jedi. In case you guys did not know, this movie takes place roughly one year after the last film. It really is the face of the Star Wars franchise, you know, even Darth Vader. You know, when you look at Anakin, when you look at Darth Vader, you think about Star Wars, right? So I think that the fact that they are trying to honor all these different characters in one big movie really seems like that they are trying to go out with a bang in Episode 9 and to end the Skywalker saga in a very satisfying way for a majority of fans around the world. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.